Hi hey everybody, Brian here back. Um, I just wanted to guys give you guys an update here on uh, on this truck. I uh, finally pretty much got it done, um, minus a few things that I'll be upgrading in the future. Just wanted to go do a quick pass so you guys can see what I did. Is <clears throat> what I did is I machined this arm right here for the servo. Um, then I put this spacer plate in here to kind of help control the wiring, uh, the wire that goes through here. Or, and um, then I put mounting bars right here for the servo. Uh, kind of did it quickly. Uh, you know, it's I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, in the future, once I get some spare money around, hopefully by starting this YouTube channel, um, I'm going to upgrade the servo to a high, higher torque servo. Like I said, these are airplane servos. So I need more like a servo. I need about, about 20 pounds of force or, or, you know, or a little bit less, but that does the trick. Uh, the pile won't turn on the ground. It has to only turn while up. So that's a downfall. Um, anyway, I have it kind of rigged up here. Uh, I still have the existing stock Traxxas receiver and everything in here. Now I have the Futaba, like a cheap aircraft four channel radio. I just have it up here for testing and uh, purposely too also to have a throttle channel for the left to right. Because if I had it on any other stick, I'd have to hold the stick in order for it to, to go to the left or to the right. And I don't really want to do that. Um, I've got some black uh, uh, hose on its on its way. I know the yellow kind of looks stupid, but um, anyway, I'm gonna do a run video here, show you guys how this thing works. Um, so here we go. So this is gonna be up. All right, so you go up, turn it, left, there's left, right, straight, and then down. All right, so, um, like I said, I did a lot of this, you know, with some machines, like a drill press and stuff like that, but, um, it's definitely doable. You can do it on a budget, and that's what I did. Like, I took this servo out of an old airplane I had. It's probably 10, 15 years old. Um, and then this one, oh God, this, this servo is a Futaba. Oh, let's see, this thing's ancient. This thing's gotta be an old analog servo, but it works. I turned it into a winch servo. Um, now, you can kind of see how this works. It it works good. I'm not really happy. Happy. I gotta. I have to buy some of. Let's see. These special connectors that go on top of the servo horn. I forgot what they're called. But let's see. They look like this. So, sorry about my hands. They're dirty. I know. I'm a machinist, unfortunately. I just finished up working. So that's what I need. Oh, there goes that. But anyway, I'm going to do a quick little uh, run video for you guys. It's going to be kind of hard here to balance the camera. So let's see if I can get this body on. Okay. Let's see. Just bear with me for one minute. All right. There we go. Get it on the ground. All righty. All right, so here we go. Oh, 
that um, now a couple things you got to watch out for is that the uh, winch will unspool on itself as you can see let's have a look here yeah. that's because I'm trying to film <clears throat> and do this but usually it doesn't do that so like like I said but anyway it all works works pretty well I'm happy so uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, now the next next build I'd like to do is I'm going to beef this guy up. I think this guy could be real a real game changer because it's got some got some power behind it. I'm going to set another axle. So anyway, um, hit that subscribe buddy button sorry <laughs> and uh hit the like button like i said i'm just getting my start here i'm rough I'm not going to edit because i don't really have that much time to be doing that i just want to help the average the average person um i will get more extensively into it and how i do it um certain machines i use and and whatnot but anyway uh thanks guys uh see you next time